In a day and age where everyone carries a phone in their pocket capable of recording 4K video and capturing high resolution photos, it's easy to forget why anyone would buy a standalone camera anymore. After all, an iPhone can record the same quality as any movie camera, right? Well, no actually, there are still plenty of reasons to buy something like a DSLR, and one of the benefits of cameras like this is the ability to record cinematic looking footage. Today in the world of cinema, Canon gets a lot of flack for their use of ancient video codecs and decisions to sell $1300 cameras that shoot 1080p. But you gotta remember, that specs aren't everything, and there's a lot more to an image than its resolution and frame rate. In 2013, Canon released the Canon T5i, a prosumer crop frame DSLR aimed at beginner photographers and videographers. Its specs on paper may seem pretty weak, but let me tell you, this is one hell of a camera for YouTube. With the Rebel Lex and specs, it makes up for and features an image quality. The camera features an articulating LCD perfect for framing yourself while vlogging or simply getting yourself in focus when shooting alone. You can capture 1080p video at 24fps, the same setting used by plenty of films today. The Canon may not have 4K, but what it does have is world-class color reproduction made possible by Canon Color Science. Colors come out of the camera looking very natural, and when you turn down sharpening in the menu settings, you get an image with a very film-like quality. Many people make the argument that Sony and Panasonic offer much better value options in this price point with features like 4K video and high frame rate capture. But the fact is, on Panasonic, you have to deal with the smaller sensor size of Micro Four Thirds, making depth of field shots more difficult, and on Sony, you have to deal with overheating issues on most of their mirrorless line. Not to mention skin tones. Canon is known for their incredibly lifelike skin tones, looking incredibly natural right out of the camera. In my opinion, Sony and Panasonic cameras have much more artificial looking skin tones which make footage from even their high-end A7 line look very fake to my eyes. Many have compared the quality of Canon's skin tones to those produced by RED or ARRI cameras, and on the $600 T5i, you get some of that magical look. Dynamic range performance from the camera is unfortunately somewhat weak, as a clip of my bedroom window shows either a properly exposed interior with blown out exterior, or a dark interior and visible exterior. Dynamic range can be improved a bit by lowering contrast in the menu. ISO performance is another fairly weak point, with ISO 800 showing very visible noise, and ISO 6400 being nearly unusable. As a side note, all this footage being shown was shot with a Canon 50mm f1.8 STM lens. Overall, the camera is still my number one recommendation for the filmmaker on a budget, because of its incredible color reproduction and skin tones the latter being an essential part of character-driven narratives. Not to mention compatibility with all the lenses and Canon's EF mount. At the end of the day, while other cameras may have better specs on paper, the Canon still produces the most natural and filmic image to my eyes, and could prove to be an excellent choice for your next short. I'm a bit sad to be parting with this camera and returning to my T2i, but it was a pleasure using it. This video was in no way sponsored by Canon, and the camera was lent to me by a member of my family. For all things media production and technology related, stay tuned to Ericsson Films.